Hey guys, Mike Heard 360. Thank you for tuning in and uh, watching my videos. And if you're watching me on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button so that it will help the YouTube al algorithms find my videos and help others find them, uh, as well as uh, as also notify any subscribers of new videos that I post. So, guys, what do I have here today? I have a, a Reveal SK. I want to talk to you about the Reveal SK and, and briefly about the XB. This is a Reveal SK. Dual normally has two antennas on it. Normally has a little solar panel mounted on top. Uh, this, the SK and the XB are both dual modem cameras, meaning that their cellular modem was uh, certified on two different carriers, and it can use and perform with uh, AT&T and Verizon. Okay, so you can swap between one or the other. This one's activated on a, on uh, AT&T, uh, but it doesn't really matter. The results, the the things that I'm going to show you now are exactly the same regardless of the carrier. So I see a lot of guys wanting to know, well, hey, can it, you know, can the antenna, can I take one antenna off of my SK or uh, I need to run a booster antenna on my SK, which, uh, which side do I hook it to? Um, does it matter which side the antenna is on depending on the carrier that I, SIM card that I have active? Uh, so I want to answer some of those questions. First and foremost, it doesn't matter what SIM card you have in the camera and activated. This is always going to be your main antenna. It says that right on the circuit board where the antenna connects to the circuit board. It says main. Okay. This is your, for lack of better terms, this is your secondary antenna. I think there's another name for it, diffusion antenna or something. I, I don't really know. I can't remember the wording that was used on the circuit board by the port where it plugs in, but it didn't say main. Uh, it, the, the terminology really didn't make much sense to me because I don't, I'm not a cellular design engineer or whatever. So, uh, main made a lot of sense though. And especially when you look at the performance. And I've done this. There's another brand out there that uses a dual modem. Their camera actually performs exactly the same as the way I'm showing you here with the same side. All right. So for uh, ease of reference, this is the door hinge, the hinge side antenna. This is the door latch, the latch side antenna. That's the way I usually talk about them. So that's your latch side. That's your hinge side. Okay. You see it's been sitting here looking for signal, looking for signal. It's actually looking for signal a little while before I even turned it on. And now it's finally just given up and said, you know what? The signal sucks. Why does the signal suck? Well, because this antenna right here doesn't do a whole lot for the performance of the, end of the camera. It satisfies what the FCC told the other manufacturer about their dual modem that they had to have two antennas. Uh, so it satisfies that. Some of y'all would say, well, hey, the XB doesn't have two antennas. Yes, it does. It's just that they took this antenna, probably because it doesn't do a whole lot, and moved it to an internal. So when you open it up and you look, there's a little strip down the side, a little uh, flat piece. It says 4G LTE on it. It plugs into that secondary spot. So they just chose on the XB to move the... These are my words. These are not Tacticam's words. These are my words, but they took the antenna that really doesn't do nothing and moved it to an internal so that it still activates or it still satisfies the FCC while not affecting the performance of the camera, okay, by removing it completely. I do know that the other brand I spoke of with the dual modem, uh, they will even tell you this. Our camera will work just fine using the main antenna. There's no change in performance. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a phone call. I don't know if you can hear that or not. All right, so... I don't know how to turn that off. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. There was a disruption there. The, uh... Where was I? Okay, the XB. So the XB has one antenna using the main antenna as the outside and one antenna on the inside. Uh, you can't even see it. You can't, you don't, you don't worry about it because it's not there. But there is two antennas on the XB. 
All right, so again, let's get back to this one. We'll turn this one on. Here's what I want to show you. When you're using an, a high gain, so let's say you have a poor signal in your area, you need to use a high gain antenna. You want to know which side to put it on the SK, the, the hinge side. You want to put it on the door hinge side. This is your main antenna. This is the antenna that handles transmit and receive uh, first and foremost, primary, however you want to say it. Your, and your camera will function just fine with an antenna on this side and no antenna on this side. See how quickly it found signal? Full signal, okay? Your camera, and I've tried this in lower signal areas, and then here where I have good signal. This camera performs the same with the, the hinge side antenna only as it does with dual antennas. I can't see any difference in performance. It sends quickly. It, uh, it finds signal quickly, does all those things, and, and I can't find any difference. And I do know, talking with the other manufacturer, Tacticam, I, I'm not on the inside. I don't get to talk to their, their tech guys or their design guys or the, you know, their guys that work on the cellular side of it. Uh, so I, I can't say that I've, I know anything firsthand from them, but the other manufacturer, I do know firsthand. They use the same cellular modem. They've been using it for over a year, and they will tell you all day long, yeah, you don't even need that antenna on that side. There's no change in performance. So, again, I'm not refuting anything that Tacticam says. This camera was designed to work with two antennas, just like the XB is. So, go ahead and run two antennas on it. What I wanted to make, the point I want to make is that if you do need a booster antenna, you need to put it on this side. If you're in the woods and this antenna breaks, uh, bear breaks it or whatever, but you got one good antenna swap it over run it on this side Do something to cover this up because now that's if you leave that nothing there you have a, a entry point for moisture um, But temporarily you can run the antenna one antenna run it on this side until you can get you a replacement and I say a replacement I don't think that it would matter one way or the other But I do know that the camera was designed to run with two antennas so you you need to go ahead and do that, if for nothing else, to make sure that your warranty's good. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen that it's going to damage anything, but uh, I'm not going to tell you to run your camera improperly, uh, day in day out. I'm just telling you what can get you by. And if you're going to run a booster antenna, go ahead and put your regular antenna on this side put it down so it doesn't it doesn't uh it's not a a target to get damaged and then run your booster out this way now you have your two antennas you're good to go i guess that's really it now of course with the xb even though it does i say it has two antennas one's on this side it's an internal so you have no choice but to put your your uh your booster antenna on this side uh, again it does not matter i want to reiterate it i want to say it loud for the people in the back it does not matter which sim card you have activated which carrier at&t or verizon this antenna this one this one right here this one on the hinge side is always going to be your main antenna you will not get performance using this antenna alone you will not see a lack of performance using this antenna alone, okay? All right. I hope that helps some folks out or just confused the heck out of you. Uh, thanks for following along. I hope you have a great day. Mike at Herd360. Take care.